Hi, welcome to show two on nine. You're not yeah. filming it on the same day as last week, no. No, no. I didn't have to pick a hat up on Christmas floor and look like Chevy Chase in New European Vacation where he does a bit of that. Yeah, I'm like, 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 sorry, I'm taking the hat off. <laughs> so, anyway, to the music. This is what we're starting with, Chris. This amazing boy, Brian. This is the, uh, the Lost Generation. Only get out of love on Brunswick. You only get out of love. So that makes no sense at all, but it's a great tune. You only get out of love. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Makes no sense. Well, it's a bloody good song, isn't it? So. I'll never get out of love with Chris. No. It's impossible. Yeah. Every time I'm out and about and I bump into people, they go, where's Chris? But we're like, like uh, the Farrelly Brothers film, they're yeah. together or something. Burn and early, we got to wear pajamas. Burn Silent Rigs. That's what I like to think. We're getting too old for this shit. No, no, burn and early, where we're like in pajamas. Yeah, do you Stay in the same bed. We've been called out these times, burn and early. I'm walking my boys. I like that, yeah. When they do the stripper, they're making breaks. That's not right. What a lovely boy vibe. It's really nice. We've well, we got some interesting stuff. We do, yeah. we got a, a lovely album actually next. By uh, Alton McLean and Destiny. And yeah, I think, uh, yeah, and My Destiny with the first track is a killer track, so let's go to that. This is like my mind to some of you who watch the show, I'm sure. I don't know, who did like this? Uh, surely. Three delectable ladies called Alton McLean and Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably in my top five tracks of what song sung by three women. <laughs> Yo, that's a that's a bold statement. I'm not sure what my favourite would be. Three degrees, can we do this? Yeah, there's kind of good three degrees. There is, there is. Uh, us girls from the BT track. Ah, that's right. Well, yeah, because me, me and Brad can boogie too. We can dance. Anyway, yeah, this is great. This is uh, Polydor Records, 1981, I think. Yeah, yeah 1981, definitely. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah, really cool. Yeah, we've got a few world, no, a few more worldly bits. Uh, so we got, uh, I think we got uh, the Czech Republic this week, uh, as well as Greece, and Greece is next. So I've got to give a thanks to uh, DJ Magos out in uh, Nicosia in Cyprus. Um, yeah, he sent old us, friend of the shed. Old friend of the shed. That's right. And he sent, he sent us a few, through a few bits once in a while, and this has got some international connections we've got. Yes, world famous. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so next up, it's actually a, it's a comp, but uh, I ain't going to be able to read any of this because it's all in the Greek uh, alphabet, but uh, it's, believe me, this is the album, it's damn good, so let's go and have one of these tracks. Yep. Greece. No Something. idea. It says, it's from the album. Fantastic Fashions, 1975, and you can see there's a guy with a key round his neck. There's a woman that looks like... Looks a bit like Karen Carpenter. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, she looks... Uh, she's hot. There's a guy with a moustache looking wistfully into the distance. Cool, though. He did something wrong. And this track is... The, the second, second one, on side one. On side one, which is an R... I, a headphone sign, a P and R. Anyway, let's get rid of it because his, uh, his voice isn't the great. Yeah. It's the interesting beginning of really, like, we talk all the way through. Exactly, as we do every week. Yeah. And next up we've got uh, a bit of uh, Czech Republic stuff. So from this album, Beat Line of Today. And uh, I think we're going to play that's what Al Cooper. Uh, uh, yeah. I love you more than you'll ever know. Yeah. It's really good. So here we go. is a Czech Republic cover of I Love You More Than You Ever Know. It's an album full of covers. It is. It's got Blame On Me. It's got Hold On I'm Coming. Decent version of House of Jacks. Really good version. Yeah. Jacks? Yeah, it's a Spanish version. Um, yeah, it's good. Really good album. Yeah. I really like the cover. I, mean, I like the colours. It looks like a... Belgian 70s, flag. Or a 70s shopping centre. You know, I you know? Or a Bakerloo line train seat. Yeah, that does. Do you know what? Is that any way I'm not joking. 
you can go to London and you can see some brilliant museums and visit some great clubs, world class restaurants. But you can't have as much fun as if you get on the Bakerloo line, see someone sitting there reading their book and sit down because they bounce. Because <laughs> all the seats are connected. They will literally bounce. I do it to my girlfriend every time. She hates me for it. She'll sit down and she'll know what I'm going to do. And I it's really hard and she'll bounce off the seat and everyone will laugh. Like, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, nice version, man. Yes. Let's have a. We've got a lovely uh, album again from Mr. Break Baron himself, Darren Willett. Uh, but this one is uh, Louis Belson, uh, who's a jazz drummer. He's got a killer little track on it, actually. So let's go and uh, have a listen to a bit of this. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, nice little funk of this. Again, a nice cover. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's got quite a few good tracks on it. It's got a nice version of Chameleon as well. There you go. There you go. Need to shout out, I don't know. Nah, I'm going to Boston cool. soon. Well, I'm going to be going to Cape Cod. So anybody out there knows any more places that I should be going to visit uh, in uh, the New England, Connecticut, Massachusetts area, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to do some extensive digging of the area like yeah. I did last year. So there you go. I think Matt and Abs have got a gig in Guildford or something like that, I think. Really? Something like that. I don't know where. I don't know, but I'm going to go and go along to it. Cool. I think you might just before you go away. I think it's okay. the after I'm back from this trip, which I'm currently on right now. Right. Hopefully I'll bring some records back or something. You never know. So the next track's also from the, the Break Baron as well. It's a lovely little 45. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. And uh, I think they've just been to Madrid. Have they? Yeah, well, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, anyway, but uh, this track is Dance a Little. The next track is Dance a Little Step by uh, Mash Macan or Mash Macan. And I've got an album. We played one of their tracks a couple of years ago now. And they're a good Canadian band, I believe. Anyway, this is a nice little break in it as well. It's brilliant. Wicked. Sounds like a... Uh, yeah, I know you mean. Yeah, that one, yeah. Sounds just like that. That's good. Yeah, Progtastic Canadian. Yeah, progtastic Canadian stuff. Um, should we go into the other break? It's sort of like a little bit later on the song, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the break. Nice, nice little 7. Mm -hmm. yeah, on uh, Blood International Records, UK Preston, so there you go. And if you're looking for some nice little sevens, well you should come down to South Arrow to the... Um, record Sa shop. Record shop, <laughs> yeah. On South Arrow, Piccadilly line, <coughs> just opposite South Arrow Station. So, um, in the indoor market, you can come to Chris, past the Polsky Step, on the right hand side, opposite the fellow that sells carpets, just in front of the bloke that sells uh, legal hats. Yeah, this is uh, Time and Changes by Jimmy Jones, the flip side to Ain't Nothing Wrong with Making Love on the First Night. Now, if it really says that to all the ladies, I think it did, but if you were writing that today, the title would have to be Ain't Nothing Wrong with Making Love on the First Night as long as she's okay with it or he's okay with it. Which is important, kids watching, make That's sure right. you get permission. Don't be taking dating advice out of Bill Cosby's poor biography. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I have respect for those men and women out there. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is wicked anyway. Ain't nothing wrong with first night. Ain't nothing wrong with anything on the first night. As long as everybody's been safe. Uh, and, uh, and you ring on the next day. Yeah, it's killer tune this. On Conchillo Records. Next up, again from the Break Baron, uh, delving into what well, I've been talking about. We might as well just let him do the show, isn't it, Karen? Coming, you know. It's only an hour and 20 minutes away. Uh, but anyway, yeah, but now I've had this album for ages and I picked up another copy off of him and I did not realise that there was a break on it. I actually really quite like the tunes. Get a little break on uh, God Bird Change. So let's have uh, that uh, break of the week. A bit crazy this, yes. and it sounds like it's not going to be quite the right time for a nice break, but you're wrong. First you get some nice... Very B-boy. 
I really like this group. They're kind of punky in the 70s and then a bit weird in the 80s, but I like them. But when the drums kick in, very nice. Lovely. We're going to see John Carpenter in October. Now, I know that sounds like a long way off, bearing in mind we're just in July. But we're seeing them on Halloween, and there's a good chance we might be interviewing them. <laughs> Beyond excited. The reason I got into film was because of Halloween. Yeah. You know that John Carpenter is one of my favourites. Still to this day, the thing is one of the greatest films ever made. So I don't think many films can come close. Big Trouble in China. I love Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it's on so, Crazy 13. Oh, yeah, it's a great film. So I'm bloody excited. The last few years he's just been doing a lot of music. And, yeah. Um, well, he we played with some recently, didn't we? So. Yeah, he did. He played out in Barcelona. And we played these John Carpenter things recently. We've still got John Carpenter's things too to come for our Halloween show. And uh, hopefully that'll be with the interview. I'm a little bit excited about this. Yeah. No, no, it won't happen, but it's a really, really cool thing to possibly we happen. We have to fight funk, we have to thank, we have to, I went a little bit, uh, you know, interesting, uh, funk, uh, Ross Forbes, who, uh, aka on this show, is Bub. Bub, Bub is on me. never seen a Halloween show from a couple of years back. You really should. Yeah, from October 2013. Make sure you watch that because he is brilliant. Yeah. Um, so, and I like to think we were excellent too. Well, that's uh, probably the most fun I've ever had like, doing a show. So. Yeah, I was going to say, it, you know, I thought it was very exciting that was the first thing I had. But. Nonetheless, yeah. hopefully John Carpenter will be coming to the shed. Or well, I doubt we'll he'll be coming yeah. to the shed, but yeah. One way or the other, John Carpenter will be on this show, hopefully. Somehow. Yeah. When I was a teenager, a young teenager especially, when I first started being a teenager and having what happens to teenagers happened to me, I was compelled for some reason to watch anything with Golden Horn in it. <laughs> From the Private Benjamin film to Overboard. Do you remember that one with um, Chevy Chase? Yeah, Foul Play. Uh, no, no, no. There's another one. Foul uh, Play? No, no. It's not. It's, it's the one where um, they're all having a, um, they're having a governor over for dinner and... Um, Yes, uh, when he's hiding in the ba- in the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the garage. Yeah, he's yeah. her ex-husband. Ex-husband, he's a writer. Yeah, I can't remember that's called. Yeah, yeah. Things are tough. So, things are yeah. tough. All things over. Are tough yeah. all over or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. brilliant. Like yeah, I like that film. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I watched um, something, but Wildcats. Wildcats. <laughs> With the Isley Brothers here. The Isley Brothers. Great bit of mate. Is pop soul. This is. I love Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn's excellent, but also if you're around our sort of age and you're into hip hop in the eighties, you would have probably watched this because LL Cool J was in it. And anything, anything when you were young that started with acting career possibly had some sort of hip hop connection, you would watch it. And this, well, it's actually a good fun film as well. I actually really like this song because of the film when I was about 12, when I first, 12 or 13, I suppose, when yeah. I first watched it. I um, I love 80s soundtracks, even the cheesiest ones, man. Totally, man. I'd like, so there's a lot of things I'd like to stick to the I'd like to put on like an 80s film night. But yeah. not the films, the music. And all those obscure tracks that people know yeah, realise I'm exist. a sucker for John Hughes films. I watch you some kind of wonderful last night. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll even dance. Totally, yeah. yeah. And dress up for the occasion. Yeah, I like some kind of wonderful. Yeah, uh, Brad's like Ducky from Pink, Pretty in Pink. I can do that. I can do that little dance. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a brilliant thing. Cool. Yeah. Originally, Ducky got the girl at the end of that film, but it didn't test well with audiences. Ah, oh, there you go, so yeah, and, in the, did. and in the book of the film, he still got that end because they wrote the book based on the script before the film came out. Ah. Film trivia. There you go. Yeah. Cool. It's anyway. got Andrew Dice Clay in it as well. Yes, it has. It's a Norman, the one here. Right. Right, that's it from us. Uh, okay. Brad should be back from San Sebastian next week. Hopefully, with some records. Hopefully. Yeah, cool. Bye bye.